should hopefully be us live now. Hopefully. Uh, I'm just trying to get um, Twitch chat open on. There we go. There's Twitch chat open. Hello. So, um, this is the second stream I've done. Uh, if anyone can hear me, please let me know. If anyone's here and can hear me, let me know. Uh, hopefully I'm live. I'm not actually even 100% sure I am. Let me just check. My step. I was hoping for would you date an alien I'd be able to use my overlay, um, or at least a different one. Sadly, could not, but that happens. Okay, I am live. Cool. There we go, perfect. Okay, so don't know if anyone is here. If not, that's fine. Uh, there'll be the VODs and everything anyway. I'll just uh, drop the link to a few more chats and stuff. But yeah, so... A couple of weeks ago now? Because I had to sadly miss last week due to being exhausted and pretty much falling asleep. Um, I was streaming a couple of games I'd made. So today I'm continuing that and I'm hoping to do that next Saturday as well. If uh, I'm not too busy, so no stuff from Moving City. This is pretty much just a way for me to play my own games again because I don't play them often. And also to um, advertise them. And because I also want to get back into streaming. So I think I thought this would be a nice way. So. So again. Uh, if not many people tune in, that's fine by me, honestly. But yeah, today. Oh, it's. Hey, hey there, Josie! How are you doing? Um, so yeah, uh, usually I make text-based games, but last year's Global Game Jam, I decided to make a dating sim. So this is Would You Dating Alien, and it's a dating sim with amazing art that I did. Uh, so we will be playing this, um, and then after this I will hopefully be playing my biggest game yet. So, before we start, let's go into about, because I want to go through the credits. Uh, please ignore my name. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to get, go through the credits mostly because everything in this game, apart from the audio, was made by me. And I felt it would be really unfair for me to not credit the people who made the music and the audio. So, credit to my good pal Ross for creating the menu music, which is the song... That's currently playing. It's very funky. Uh, <laughs> also, um, Josie, can you hear me okay? Um, the other two viewers. I'm always nervous that people can't hear me. Um, credit to Kevin McLeod for the other songs. Because Kevin McLeod does all music that everyone uses for every project. Uh, special thanks to my patrons. Uh, James Gallagher. Uh, Rob, Roy, Rob Small. Uh, Red SA. Because I've actually got more patrons than I did when I made this. Uh, let me get a list. Because uh, I've got a few now. So, yeah. To Connor Donnan. Red SA. Um, Rob Small. Uh, Miles Winsler. And to... Perfect. You can hear me. I'm good, thank you. Uh, I've had a very long nap earlier. And that very long nap... Uh, has kind of fucked me over and I'm tired, but 
I was more tired beforehand. I also bought a capture card today, so once I get the cables for that and the post in a few days, I'll finally get to stream games that I didn't make that people actually want to watch. So that'll be exciting. Um, so yeah. Also, additional best thanks for uh, my good pal Tom because he uh, gave me crayons, and with crayons, I created uh, this beautiful alien here. So yeah, um, let's get started. My name's Tyler. Uh, so I'll open up with some dev commentary immediately. Um, one thing that's been important to me when creating characters for my games is making them ambiguous. So if someone wants their character to be a guy, a girl, non-binary, um, bisexual, pansexual, etc., disabled, I want them to be able to do that. Perfect. Thank you, Josie. Um, it's been very important to me that people can project themselves onto their characters however they want. So when I... W and usually I don't actually give the character explicit names. I don't do any of that. Timer was, I think, the first time I did that. Um, so when creating Tyler, I specifically asked on Twitter for people to give me names that um, are gender ambiguous. Tyler was the one that I felt fit the best. So I personally um, see Tyler as probably non-binary and as Disabled, which I will probably get to later, hopefully. But that's my head canon. I don't want to say it's canon. I don't want to say that's the fact. If someone sees Tyler when watching this or playing it differently from me, I completely respect that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that was uh, me talking for two minutes about a character's name. <laughs> I've lived here in the observatory all my life, and honestly, it really sucks. Uh, as you can see, I did all the art in MS Paint and it took me about an hour or two. <laughs> the window isn't even, uh, fucking, uh, synchronizing. Oh, that's, uh, fine. Don't worry, Josie. Enjoy your hot meal. Uh, I hope it's very tasty. Thank you for even passing by. It's really appreciated. Um, man, I really wish I could have done an overlay for this game. But the game's window was too big, and I was running late, and I'm a confused person. Thank you. Love you, bud. You're a very good pal. Hopefully, I'll finally get to come down to an English dorm at some point to say hi. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> forgot the music chance. Yeah, I wanted to make an overlay, but I was running well, on time before the stream started, and the shitty overlay I usually use didn't fit for this game, so, yeah, uh, let me put in my commands, even though there's, like, not many people here, no, oh, okay, does that right command, yes, perfect, that is the right command, cool, so, yeah, uh, the art was very much made by me in about an hour or two in MS Paint. Uh, I'm not an artist, I'm a writer, I'm a professional software tester, I guess. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's my actual like official job title, especially with the past couple months where I've been in between jobs. But yeah, I'm a writer, I'm a bit of a game designer, mostly a narrative designer. I'm not an artist, and you can see that here. But I hope it worked for the tone of the game, people said it did. Anyway... This was made in 48 hours as well, so not much time for proper assets. Right, I'll finally start reading the game. Uh, timer. Uh, it really sucks. I've never really had many offline friends, and my family are always too focused on their work. Sure, I get to play games all the time, but even that gets boring eventually. So sometimes... Yeah, I don't have... This is a very rudimentary stream setup because I didn't know how to do it, but I did get an email saying that you had followed me. Thank you for the follow, Ross. Uh, I don't know how to set any of that up. Uh, once I've got my capture card ready, I'll probably set up a proper nice overlay, proper notifications and all that. Um, I should probably just hurry up and do that for even next week's stream. So yeah, thank you for the follow, uh, Cross SSB. Uh, good to see you in the chat as well. 
Uh, this is Would You Date an Alien? I know you've seen it and maybe played it before. I know you watched it uh, when Pirate played it anyway. Uh, sure, I get to play games all the time, but even that gets boring eventually. So sometimes, sometimes I like to just look up at the stars. Uh, here's where I'll get into the bit where I headcam the character that Tyler was disabled. Um, when writing, I heavily wanted to imply that they couldn't leave uh, the observatory, really. Um, because as I was writing, I was thinking about them having some kind of disability. Nothing particular, nothing notable that I wanted to know. Because once again, didn't want to make it explicit. I wanted to make the game accessible for people to project themselves on as much as they wanted to or could. But I wanted that to be... In my head, that was the reason why Tyler is so bored all the time and is essentially locked in the observatory. Mostly because... They can't necessarily get around easily. Cross, that would be actually sick. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I can work it out. I'm, I've got Google as a friend. <laughs> my, when I go on to my next game, I'm going to have a stream overlay again. But the overlay is also going to be the most half-assed thing ever because I made it in like two minutes last, like two weeks ago. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I like to just look up at the stars. At that moment, a shooting star fell from above, and while well, that happened sometimes, it was always beautiful. This one was different. Just as I was about to make a wish, it stopped. In midair, like it was frozen in space, I stared for what must have been a full five minutes, but it never kept up its momentum. I only stopped because... A horrible crackling sound came from my computer as the monitor switched on and the screen turned black. I started to panic before suddenly some green text appeared. Also, if anyone has any questions at any point about the game or my development process or anything, please feel free to ask. I'm happy to interrupt uh, reading and playing to answer your questions. Um, this was made in Renpai. This was also my first time ever not using Twine to make one of my games. I'd made stuff in Unity before, but I'd never used Renpy. So that was a fun experience. I used a lot of my time making this um, for Global Game Jam in that. Uh, I'll talk more about that, um, why I made an alien dating sim and a few other things, probably after I played the game or in a bit. I'll talk more about the Game Jam experience as a whole soon. But yeah, been text approved. Hello? Is uh, anybody there? Uh, Earthlings? Tyler, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was like being hacked in a Hollywood film. If anybody is there, please respond. Hello? An Earthling. Greetings and salutations from the planet. <laughs> what? Is there a problem? Earthling? Planet? If I had more time, I probably would have seen if there was a way to make this more diegetic. I don't know if there would have been, like I said, 48 hour game jam, first time using the engine. This must have been a dream, right? Or a prank from a hacker. Right? But can you even do green text in a black background in real life hacking? Oh, my apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. Hmm, how do I do this? I suppose I shall be blunt. My name is... And I am not of your world. God, come up with the nonsense text for the alien language was fun. Because uh, a lot of characters couldn't be used because Python... Because Red Pie is based on Python, uh, hence the pie, uh, but it's very grumpy. It did not want me to fuck up the code. <laughs> so yeah, it took a while. Way longer than it should have. Alright, definitely a dream or a prank. Someone's just typing random characters after all. And aliens aren't real. Right? Instinctively, I felt myself look up at the stars again. And that one... And that once shooting... Oh, no, no, okay. And that once shooting star continued to stay still. 
Could it be? Ah, Feng? Are you still there? I hope I did not intimidate you to leave. I woke up from my stupor very suddenly when I saw the new message blink onto the screen out the corner of my eye. Sorry, yes, I'm here now. What do you want? Is this an invasion? Huh? No, 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 no invasion. I just want to talk. I want to learn more of our culture. Would you be willing to take time out of your life to talk? Uh, yeah. Should we talk to the alien or should we say no? This is going to be 100%. I'm going to go through every option. So it doesn't matter in the end. But actually, I'll save. Because we can do that in Renpai. Oh, look. Here's my old saves. Probably from playtesting. So yeah, should we take time out of our lives to talk? Yes, I would. Or should we just fuck them? Let's not talk. Because it is kind of weird. Bam, 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 bam. Let me just quickly check stuff. Okay, cool. So, yeah, there's a little bit of... Like, the lag is... Shit. Any long here between the stream and where I am, so yeah, there is going to be a bit of downtime and bits like this where I'm wanting to see what choices you guys will make, if any. I guess I should use this time to talk more actually. Yeah, so yeah, made for Global Game Jam 2018, so it was a 48 hour. Game Jam, I decided to do what's called solo jamming, so make a game all by myself instead of with a team. Traditionally, game jams are with teams, um, but I wanted to experiment with an engine I didn't know. I wanted to make something new, something I hadn't done before. I went in knowing I wanted to make a dating sim of some kind. Don't know why, I just thought it would be fun. Um, and the theme was transition, so I brainstormed for like all the first night. And eventually came up with a few ideas that combined into would the title Would You Date an Alien? So I went in with the title, nothing else. The next day I just wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and got very angry at Python repeatedly because I would mess up the tabulations and it would get angry at me or I would do all these other things that would get angry at me and angry at me and angry at me. Um, just slight mess ups. But I did learn the engine okay, I think. And I had a good time making this. Like This is one of my proudest games. And a lot of people I know have enjoyed it. Mostly because it's kind of weird and fun. And we're going to say no for now. Hey, you've taken this a bit too far. I think I'm done talking to you. I'm going to switch this off now. Before they could even reply. I'd switch off my computer. And with only a couple of days. I'd forgotten all about this. Bad end. You wouldn't talk to an alien? So yeah, this game has multiple bad ends. Something all my games have. Yes, I would. Well, this is probably a dream. Might as well roll with it. Like, when I'm creating narrative-driven games, I like to go... Even if a game doesn't have loads of branching paths... I like to explore that non-linearity, I like to explore choices or the illusion of choice, so I always try and make sure, even my more linear games still have different routes sometimes, even if the different routes are only like short bad ends. Well, this is probably a dream, may as well roll with it. Yeah, sure. But before we talk about Earth, could you tell me why your name and planet come across so weird? Oh, right, uh, that must be the translator. Your Earth, uh, no, wait, English, apparently. Characters can't understand those parts. 
The closest equivalent to my name in your language would be... I think I literally keyboard master. If you want, you can call me Vlog for short. Right. Okay. Hi, Vlog. I'm Tyler. So, why do you want to know about the Earth? I've been travelling the galaxy for a while, and your planet was the only one in this area with life on it. So I was intrigued. I never thought an Earth language would respond, especially not so quickly. Ah, I see. I did not see at all, but whatever. Might as well just keep going. Unfortunately, I've only got about five minutes in your time before I need to leave for a while, and I forgot to prepare questions, so you can choose what to tell me. Uh, so we can tell them about your boring life, tell them about romance. I'm just going to make the choices. I think that'll be easier. So we will come across uh, strong and tell them about romance, because I can't remember which one's the correct route for the best end. <laughs> Am I really going to do this? Try and explain emotions to an alien? I feel stupid, but... Well... What do you know about emotions? Oh, we have those he Oh, we have those here. Though... Oh god, I forgot about this stupid joke. Well, just what you should consider as simple, happy, sad, angry at the mask of a stinky boy, etc. That is the most me joke ever. Angry at the mask of a stinky boy. Jesus Christ. What about more complex ones? Like liking, disliking, hating, loving... I, rec I recognise most of those. Well, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Well, well, as far as I know, it's when you like someone a lot. Someone you want to be with forever. Who you'd do anything for. I see. So you have taught me invaluable information about this love. Please educate me more on the subject. What? Oh, wait. They're probably being genuine. I think this is the right route. Oops. Still, it's hard to hide my blush. Thank goodness they can't see me. Yeah, of course, no problem. I'm always happy to help. Each key press of that response was more flustered than the last. I had to at least pretend to be composed. Thank you, but sadly, it looks like I need to go. Can we speak again? I was surprised. Blog barely spoke to me. But honestly, I'd say yes. I didn't get much company these days. Yeah, of course. I'll speak next time. Of course, I was still uncertain about if they were really an alien or not. But honestly, I would much rather assume they were than not. Life's fun or that way. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do the other option now. Um, because I can't remember which route the correct one. And I don't want to get the, the best end immediately. <laughs> don't worry, I just saved. Get so grumpy. Tell them about your boring life. Honestly, they aren't boring. We have lots of water and ground. Life and a few other things, but I don't really think we have anything interesting. But what about your cultures? Your languages? Your weather? Your different species? You all have such fascinating stuff on your planet. Your lives must be exciting. How can you possibly be bored? Because I take some time to think about it. Because I never get to travel. I never get to leave. You can leave your home, your planet. I can barely move further than my observatory. Okay, I did make it more explicit than I remembered about um, Tyler being disabled. Okay, I forgot that I'd made it that explicit. I see. I apologise. I never thought about that. Suddenly, the screen began to crackle as if there was static. Understandably, I began to panic. Time's up. Sorry, but I think I need to go. But I'll try and come back when I can. Can we speak again? I was surprised. Blog barely spoke to me. But honestly, I had to say yes. I didn't get much company these days. Yeah, of course. I'll speak then. Da -da -da, I already read all that. Weeks passed. It honestly started to feel like years. The time passed and passed. I just played games and slept, hoping one day they would come back. And eventually, after a month, oh, oops. and after a month, I decided to take it in my own into my own hands. I'd been taught how to operate the equipment at the observatory, so after lots of experimentation, I was finally able to send out a message. Oh. 
One second. Just updating a friend who sadly can't tune in. Hey Emma. Um, hopefully you're watching this either as the, on the archive or on my YouTube channel. That was me getting distracted by telling you that I'm uploading the VODs later. And eventually, after a month, I don't oh know, yep, 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 done that. Blog, are you somewhere out there? I want to talk more. And then I just had to wait. And wait. And wait some more. During the time I even drew a picture of an alien, despite admittedly being a pretty awful artist. See, I even have an excuse as to why the crane drawn alien looks so bad. I have a few other um, rejected designs. Um, I can't really post them in the stream, obviously, because they're not in the game, but... I knew they would likely not look like it, but... It would do as a placeholder until I would hopefully find out their appearance. Yep, here it is. And after a couple months of waiting, since I sent out the message, I began to panic that there wouldn't be a response. Oh, sh shit. Oh, okay, I thought I had uh, moved down, but I had actually moved up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But suddenly, there it was, a black screen. Green text. They came back! Hello! <laughs> okay, I'm laughing at this innocuous line, because sometimes I like to put in just references that are, no one else are, is going to get, or aren't really proper references. Uh, so, you had my message. I told you I would call. Um, it's a direct line... From the Sherlock Holmes story, A Scandal in Bohemia, uh, it's what the king says to Sherlock when he first shows up. And I got to play the role of the king in a drama production at my university. So, I don't know, just that line kind of stuck out to me and I jumped at the opportunity to use it. And that's why I find it so funny that I said that, even though it's a very innocuous thing. Yes, sorry, I got the message and did try to come back, but I can only do instant messaging. When in range of the earth. I almost sent a reply then, but was unsure how long you would have had to wait. No problem. So, do you have questions? Indeed I do. I wanted to know what your favourite part of earth and culture is. Hmm, I had to think about that, but I think I'd say it. Relationships with people, video games. I'm going to go accurate to the fact that I'm a disgusting cretin and say it's video games. I'd have to say video games are pretty damn great. Oh, so you have video games on Earth too? Yeah, of course. Wait, you have games on your planet? We do. They are our primary way of passing time. We enter virtual worlds with each other to solve puzzles and encourage bonding. Is it similar on Earth? Sometimes, but usually kids just shoot you in a game and talk about doing rude things to your parents. <laughs> Not everything is cooperative over there. How bizarre. Yeah, I know, right? I typically go single player to co-op games with some of my friends around the world. Never been competitive myself, honestly. Single player... We have a few games like that, but they are rare. We focus primarily on bonding and bonding alone. Huh, that's cool. You should show me one of your games one day. I like that plan. Let us do that if possible. That it began to appear. Uh, apologies. I shall speak with you soon. I am enjoying our conversations. Me too. Speak soon. And gone. After talking, I felt myself slump down on my bed and look up through our ceiling at the stars again. I watched the ship that I once thought was the shooting star zoom away. Nice. Nice having a friend at last. Hopefully the wait would not be too long. But it was not to be. Blog's travels were taking him far away again. Another two months passed until it was suddenly the six month anniversary of our first conversation. Oh no, I missed the parenthesis. <coughs> what it?
sorry for the slamming that into the mic. <clears throat> the stars look beautiful, even with one missing. So beautiful that I was starting to doze off. Whoosh! I, there were meant to be sound effects when it came in, but I only got the sound files on the last day for the last second. <coughs> like, they were made and everything. And then Pi was refusing to play them. And I did not have enough time before a submission to fix it. So I had to sadly just not put them in, and I could have patched them in, and I don't know why I didn't, honestly. I almost never noticed the sound, uh, the, set, the ship by its usual spot. It did not make a sound well. Just, I turned to my computer, so the usual. With a smile on my face, I got up and took a look. Hello, how is my friend today? Friend? It was nice to see the, that the feeling was mutual, and they saw me that way too. I'm good, thank you. And how are you? I am also good, though I wish to inquire something. Hmm? We get along well. You have been bonding with me a lot, and I wanted to know what you thought of me. Ah, I'm a son. I felt my heart race as I considered the question. Uh, I'm gonna do your good friend of mine first. I like you a lot. You're a good friend, to be honest. I see. That's wonderful. We both think the same thing of each other. Couldn't help but smile. I had become friends with an alien. Fantastic. So does that mean we'll continue to keep in touch for a while longer? Definitely. Hopefully until I must return to my planet permanently. But until then, I'll keep exploring and content contacting you. Not for data information, but instead as a friend. Good end. Would you prefer an alien? Uh, it was very important to me to write that this was a good end. Um, because the friend zone is bullshit. And anyone who thinks being friend-zoned friend sucks uh, is a fool. Friendship is just as good, if not just as good and important as uh, being in a relationship, in my opinion. And I wanted to emphasise the fact that, you know, still, it's good that you're friends with this alien, even if you're not dating him. Uh, I think I love you. Because I think I just remembered the correct path to the uh, best end. Um, and then if this is it, and so I best remember troops. I think I love you. Y y you love me? What does that mean? I'm not sure, but whenever I think of you, I feel happy. And I always want to spend more time with you. And honestly, get as close to you as possible. This is the best end, I think. Okay, I guess we're getting the best end and then the other ends later. I'm not too sure, but whenever I think of you, I feel happy, and I always want to spend more time with you, and honestly, get as close to you as possible. I see. So is this more than friendship. And obviously, I couldn't have developed the relationship too much more. I only had a limited amount of time to make the game. Otherwise, probably things would have been developed more, fleshed out more. There would have been more build-up to the romance. Yeah, I feel like I want more than friendship from you. Hmm, fascinating. I like you too, but I do not know how far I can extend my feelings as of yet. Is that okay? I had to think about it. Of course I did. If I did love them, would I be okay with them not returning the feelings? Yep. Oh, wow, well, okay, I straight up just say it here. I did not need to think for long. Of course I would. I'm not a jackass. The friend zone is fake and friendship's wonderful. I'm so happy I explicitly called that out here. Of course it is. As long as we keep talking, I'm happy. Then we will both be happy. Good to know. At that, we talked for a good 10-15 minutes before they had to depart yet again. To promise that they would get in touch soon. A couple of weeks passed before the next message. It was easily the shortest turnaround time between them. Tyler, I have something for you. Okay, yeah, this is the, for the best end, I think. Huh? What is it? A gift. Well, a couple, because I did not know what you would prefer. I was dumbstruck. I didn't know what to say or think. Feeling my face turn red the gesture, I tried to keep my composure and my words at least. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to, though. I wanted to. You are a good friend, and you mean a lot to me. So I wanted to surprise and please you. Ah, uh, well, thank you. You really have. I felt so awkward. What else could I say or do? I didn't expect this. So, would you like to try some food from my planet? Or a game I can send either to you. Alright, we're going to start with food, and I'm going to tell a story. Uh, I choose something that was kind of phallic. Someone correctly pointed it out to me. I then drew a different asset that I thought was less phallic. Mmm! 
might be just as bad, if not worse. This was not intended, I swear. I'm a bit curious as to what you eat, honestly. So the food, please. And I'll get this sent to you now. Are you okay with me tracing your address to do this? Of course, blog. Please go ahead. Please just trace my address. I trust you. I've never met you. I don't know what you look like. I know nothing about you. You could easily be catfishing me. Blog isn't catfishing. Spoilers. Of course, Bong. Please go ahead. Whoosh. Look, okay. Look, okay. Look, okay. It's not meant to. Look, okay. After only a minute, a box had a in front of me. I opened it to find what looked like a large purple banana. Look, okay, I tried. Make sure to eat it exactly as it is. The skin is what keeps it from being poisonous. Uh, uh, I am joking, do not worry. You cannot peel the skin off anyway, even though it does look similar to Earth. Bananas. I laughed a little at the joke and made that clear in the chat before picking up the banana and eat, biting into it. It was sour, incredibly sour, and yet delicious. There were other flavours rushing into my mouth and throat at the same time as the sourness, but I could not place them. Delicious. Mmm. After finishing, I smiled on the screen and began to type. Thank you, I loved it. I am glad I cooked that just for you. Huh? Really? You did a great job, but why would you cook for me? Ah, okay, yeah, this is cool. Uh, well, how should I say this? Maybe in your vernacular. I sat confused. What did you mean? Well, would you date an alien? I fucking love name drops in games. I fucking love name drops in games and movies and TV shows, and I know it's cheesy, but I fucking love it. So I had to do it. Well, would you date an alien? Ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. My heart started beating hard. What did that mean? So, would you? Huh? 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 Time to be true to my feelings. Would I? You've already confessed. Is this a different friends ending? I can't remember. I'm sorry, but I don't think I could. But I like you a lot. Can we say friends? I think if I had more time, I probably would have made this a more unique ending because the path to get here was already based off already confessing. But once again, time limitations. So I've probably just copy-pasted. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think I could. But I like you a lot. Can we stay friends? Of course we can. Thank you for being honest. You were on quite the rest of the conversation, but after that we began to talk every month and had a firm, strong friendship built of mutual respect and platonic love. Good end. Would you pla platonically reject an alien? And once again, me thinking friends are bullshit, so none of that here. I would love to. Meanie, are you sure? Even though I am not of your planet, even though I do not look like you or act like you. I would. I love you. I've loved you for a while. You've done a lot for me. I've been my best since I started talking, and I want to spend all my time with you, honestly. My excuse for uh, Tyler maybe moving a bit fast emotionally, like I, when they talk so rarely, even if it's over a longish time period, is because they are very isolated. Maybe a little bit desperate. But it's meant to be sweet. It's meant to be cute. And I had a time limit. Then it is official. We are now going to date. I blushed and beamed at the screen. How wonderful. Everything I ever wanted. So I must ask, would you mind that I am not humanoid? I was left pausing. I'd even wondered. Honestly, I didn't care. I loved them for them, not what they looked like. Of course not. I just want you to be happy, and I want to be with you, whatever you look like, even if you don't do not look at all human. Then I have one more gift for you, but it is only for your eyes. I worry that the rest of mankind will be afraid. Then only I will look. I promise, even if someone spies on me somehow, I promise they will not see us. I don't... Tyler, you cheesy sh fuck. <laughs> A picture appeared, and it was the most beautiful being I have ever seen. They looked nothing like anything I had ever seen before, but I loved them. You're, you're beautiful. Uh, as you can tell, I did not make an art ass out for this. Beautiful? Good looking. Lovely. Your appearance makes me happy. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Best end. You would date an alien. Well done. There's at least two more endings from what I remember. 
Alright, let's get further a bit. And then we will do the other path. <laughs>